All right, folks, welcome back to Orwell, episode five. And man, in the last episode, we uh, wait a minute here. It didn't save oh, no, all these. I don't know why they look like they're red. They all had popped up, if I remember, at the end of this, and they were all red, like they had new information in there. And uh, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Maybe it didn't quite save my exact progress where I was at. Either way, it looks like there's some new stuff here that we're going to go through in a minute. But uh, let's look at this listener. And this is re-regarding the ICU. Not going to Harrison. The thoughts are free once again. We are not done yet, you and me. But first on, I must turn to another. So this is the person who basically told them they would blame them for everything that happened. Uh, that was interesting. So a lot happened in the last episode. And there's clearly more in the wall of text. But let's read this overview. So I'm betting this is the thought website that Harrison must have gone and fixed now because it had gotten a virus. So are these ones still blocked out? They're not. Oh, yeah. Proposed to consider. No, no, wait. Hold on. That one was good. It was all the other ones that were archived that were not accessible. Okay, so here we go. So these ones still seem to be not accessible. Freedom is unfree. We already read this one. So the overview page is back online. Nothing seems to change there, but entry eight thought must change direction. Is this a new one? This is published in 2016. Thought must change direction. Capture mind. Hold on. After one and a half years of recruiting two of my students and arranging three demonstrations. So wait, this is data already submitted. Was this just new portrait that was submitted? What is missing on this page? And is there new comments? Concerned one. No, this is the 12th. Please reconsider. Guy Hurt was the only goddamn cop. They had it coming for so long. Blah, blah, blah. So what's the new information that's on this page? Data invalid. Data submitted. Uh, oh, here we go. There's something. This was submitted, though. These were submitted. This was also invalid. So I've done stuff with this data. Why is, I don't know why that was showing up there as new. Maybe because it's just put back online? I don't know. This gets a little confusing sometimes, but let's go to the wall of text. And what is still missing here? These are, like we've read a lot of this stuff, right? We still haven't found the second conflict where this one's saying he rejects the government. This other one was saying that he always wants to stay like within the conflict or within the conflict. Sorry, she always wants to stay within the confines of the government. He supports the government. I need to see what this other data chunk is that it's referring to though. And I still haven't come across it yet. And I don't feel right about being able to move forward. What is confusing me a little bit is there's a star here showing in the writing on the wall that there's like an important piece of information here. That other piece was in thought, right? Hold on. Let's go back to this conflict was in national opinion. No, this was in to TNB. So even though that's in the TNB, it's not showing up here. There is something that's missing in the thought. And I don't know what is missing from here. So we already got this information. Clicking on George Orwell. Clicking on thought. Okay. I guess we just need to check all these again. Our thought's still free. Yeah, so this is all the same. Let's go back. Maybe one of these is actually open now and we didn't realize it. Four, five, six, set no. We already got to the thought must change direction one. Submitted. So all this stuff is either submitted or invalid. So I don't, freedom is unfree. Maybe there's more in this article. Predicted pretty much all this for the web. Okay, this is the one that I thought still free. So that's what we just did. I don't know what is missing from this, why this has a star on it. 
and I'm not missing anything else. I, I think I basically come to a point in the game, unless I'm missing something major, where I'm going to have to make a choice, even though I know there's a conflicting data chunk somewhere. And I'm going to go with that. This is like, this was 2013 where he rejects the government position here. And what this one was stating in 2009, this was written in 2017 though. Safety of all citizens of utmost importance. That has been the party's premise ever since 2009, ever since it has been working like a charm till now that is. But some self-proclaimed benefactors of opposition to the borders are meant to be open to possible refugees. If I didn't know how to suffer it already nine years back, I would agree without a doubt. I would walk out there and welcome them personally with open arms. But I don't remember perfectly well, though my name is at Nostradamus. See, it sounds like he is a very anti-government. Even with this one that's trying to show he's pro-government. So I'm going to submit this just because I don't know what else to do at this point. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I just hit the show conflict button again. So we're going to drag this over to Harrison O'Donnell. Fine. And what did that open up? Anything else we... Anything else would come as a surprise, okay? So what else is now missing on the wall of text? We already submitted that data. Lives in a trailer. This is invalid data because I said something else. Invalid data. Picture, for the love of God. Uh, 2015, what was that one from? Sure, why not, let's do, let's do that. Who cares? Have a new picture, buddy. And we still didn't get something. What is happening? Wait, leave a message. Hold on. I didn't even get to this section. Oh man, this is where it was at, isn't it? That other piece there. Oh my God. Recruited members for a debate called the thought or debate club club. But you're not going to come since I sold on your website. Frankly, you're thinking and your attitude to get people thinking alike left quite an impression on me. I'm looking for people willing to join a debate cl club called Thought, and I think your presence could really liven up discussion. So Goldfells was guising it under a debate club? I know where you get the wild impression I would be willing to join some debate club. I'm already debating here all day on my own. The country needs change, freaking action. If you have this to offer thought that as well, drop me a pin, don't spam. A private PN, I'm assuming is a private message. <laughs> uh, I think this is right though. We're going to go back to Goldfells. We are going to add this because that seems to be how we started to recruit him. A related document was found. You feel a little confused now. Is this Thought Club being an activist group? Or to, well, perhaps all three. I think Goldfells is putting this under the premise of a debate club. Hold on. We're going to look through this before I... Target sounds kind of lame to me, Mariah, but thanks anyway. I might consider that. They did end up calling on the targets. By the way, your grammar sucks. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Um, so this is still, Thought still has a star in there somewhere. I'm not sure why. But I still didn't find that other data chunk, though, that it could come from somewhere here, and I've already submitted, so that's kind of annoying. So topic, debate club invitation. Goldfells is a lecturer. Dear readers, I would kindly like to invite those who are interested to our newly found debate club called The Thought. Primary discussion will revolve around how people can be best made aware of topics in the age of information overflow. First, we will brainstorm and discuss various options. Then, dependent on a participation and interest attendees, we will perform practical exercises and test sessions for empirical research. The thought meetings are scheduled to take place every Thursday night at 7 p.m. sharp. Meetings will take uh, place at Cyber Cafe Chestnut Complex D on selling to campus. No registration is needed. You can visit our blog. So we'll go to the blog in a minute. We're looking forward to meeting you. So it does actually sound like he was doing a debate club. Ain't nobody got time for that. They tried to do memes. They tried. Uh, if I find time after work, I might come around. Minor update. We will have a wonderful guest join us in the meetings. Hancock. He's been theorizing of ways of political engagement on his independent blog, Hancock Writing on the Wall, for several years now and is sure to enrich our debate sessions. Debbie R. said it's not an official accredited event. 
I'm not a student only here for self-improvement, but the topics really piqued my interest in being able to join. My name is Nina. Okay. Hancock. At concern, let's be honest with one another. Shall we? The first few sessions were not exactly full, fucking empty. So yeah, the last thing Ava and me are going to do is give up hope. So we would be glad if you drop by next Thursday. Okay. So Nina, you'll be very welcome to thought. Sure. Is there a Nina that I have talked to before? Uh, Nina, so there's another member we haven't even heard of yet. Well, for the debate club part. Wait, you're requesting Claire to make this random Nina person a target? We don't even know her. We have one message from her. We got a green light. What? What kind of organization is this? Uh, okay, so Nina is at Concerned. That's her handle. It's going to be like, bloop, bloop, lots of things. What a strange A-list name. Okay, we got other stuff. I want to go to the blog first here. Oh, this is the blog. Okay, never mind. So, this is... Hmm. <sighs> okay, metamorphosis. Let's look at this. Wait, what? Thoughts are free. Where did this come from? Metamorphosis published in July 2015. The government exists only of ass-kicking motherfucking turds. So, hostile toward the government, which is conflicting with... Here's the third piece of information. Okay. Okay, which I've already... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I think I'm okay to say what I had done. And the data's invalid. Okay, that's fine. Uh, out of the beauty, the freedom of speech, blah, 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 with the current course toward. No, we will not carry it, it in, onto the streets of the nation because transformed that re-implanted back into the minds. An invincible idea that we shall always be truly free. Declared thought to be a revolutionary activist group. With the current course towards more and more surveillance, our state of the nation's slow metamorphosis, it's inevitable that we'll change one day. It's damn well possible that the day isn't too far off. There must be a counterweight to the process, and the answer can only be that thought no longer stays in our heads. Okay, I'm not with you. You're, we're still on Harrison. How did finding stuff from Hancock, like, about this chick? I don't get why this chick. I don't get it. And now we know who had the primary say in that. Okay, that's good. It was a great moment. Finally get action. So Nino was all about action. Who do you think I am? Oh, of course I do. My friends, though I share your enthusiasm toward acquiring people's attention, it would be better to avoid stalking this place to demonstrate for a moment because the increased student fees, the atmosphere is heated up enough. Ah, uh, what a pity, but you're probably right, Abe. So what about holding a proclamation on a government building then? It's the conflict here. Plan proclamation on a government building, but there's conflict with that oh it's right there i think we strike into the hearts of everyday people to really cause a stir we should go for a storming bonton mall is our first thing maybe wait until it's all mall okay although i know we want to gather more people to join i don't understand how these are conflicting like there were just suggestions by people so yes he did plan originally try to get them to plan at the government but it looks like they went for bonton at the end of the day but this was this concern chick I, it's a mm, little confusing. So do it. You got that, okay? Uh, the Nina planner. It doesn't mean she planned it. She just suggested the location. That's where the third bomb will be. I thought the Bonson Mall was that place at the beginning. I guess the, that was the square or something like that. Okay. But there are a dozen malls in Bonson. Which one is it? Okay, so now we're trying to get closer to finding out where it's at, even though it was two years ago they said this. All right, if that's all we got, that's all we got to work with, so let's get this interrogation thing going on before we run out of time. I am actually located in the same facility where Ms. Watergate is being detained. I will have her move to an interrogation room and walk across to cover my identity. I will connect to her via my internet hardline. Let's just hope you have provided us enough leverage. I will open a connection for you to eavesdrop. After all, this is your case too, but we need to put... We need all the possible info found on or in Orwell. Hold on. Okay, so do I need... Whoa, whoa, listener, what is this? Oh, this is it. I wasn't done. Can I pause it? Who is this? Why can't you just leave me alone? 
Miss Watergate, my name is Sims. Great, Sims, you can go F off. I already told the other guys everything over and over again. It wasn't me who hurt the officer. I've no evidence to say otherwise, which is why you're in custody, but that's not what this is about. That's getting the bombings of Freedom Plaza. Freedom Plaza installed again. But Freedom Plaza is in Bonton. Oh, you want to frame me for this as well? I must be such a busy terrorist. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, you know, Freezer Plaza. We do not, however, you've been in close contact with a group called Thoughts. She's saying they have nothing to do with it. Blah, blah, blah. She's confused that we know about her. She's dating her lawyer, lawyer, but it doesn't matter. Blah, blah. I need to, I don't need to call him then. No, shut off. Okay. Mary Bly. Now he's just being a jerk. So she does not like Mary. So that was wrong. Now they're talking about bringing her parents into it. She's like, whatever. They suggested she leave, step down the COO, apparently. Uh, we have the confession about your police officer. Go through the whole process again. Carrington stated it. So she's saying, well, it did happen and happened in defense. She's potentially dangerous. It's a very long conversation here. Not a joke. Why are we going after her anyway? Or didn't we decide it wasn't her? It was more probably Harrison? Like... Can I just pause this conversation and go do something else? There's more stuff to research. Official investigative result. We can double the time span. You can sit here with the police record. I'd be like your cell and your cellmates. Cooperate and avoid this at, at once. Answer the questions and I might be able to help. I don't know what you expect from me. First went to the Freedom Plaza demo. Don't know much about their plans. Nina. I'm always mentioned once or twice. The Circle Mall. So, huge place, the Circle Mall. So, we need to put this into what? Cassandra's? So, boom. Oh, God. Get down there. Circle Mall. <laughs> what about this reflecting positively on me? Your cooperation was noted. We'll be done with in due time. Okay. That went good. Thank God I provided valuable info. Unfortunately for Miss Watergate, I can't do much for her. It just doesn't work like that. <laughs> wow. What's in Orwell is in Orwell and acting upon it is mandatory. What did I put in there about her? No, you must think now, but would you rather not save these people? We did the right thing, you and me. Looks like the biggest mall in Bonton, the Circle Mall, is our target. All hell works really bad. Who's going to report us out, but I don't think we have a choice. I see you acted quickly and already got the data chunk about the mall uploaded. So let me inform the cavalry. Okay. Okay, it's done. Evacuations in progress, but I keep our fingers crossed that we're right and we're not too late. Now all we can do is wait. So I guess I whatever I put in here about her is making her go into the um, Esther Carrington. I don't want to do that yet. I want to go back to the reader and try to find. What am I missing about this? Uh, please consider a guy hurt there was only a goddamn cop. So Nina despises law enforcement. Messed up organizations. Something was messy. I know all the way back to the things I the thing I messed up organizing. But hell look at the bright side. We made the news. I didn't catch that before, so this Nina person organized this and doesn't like cops. Interesting what she do for thought. She must that she might have messed up. She probably she probably planned that meeting, or that uh, the brick got thrown at. Okay, so metamorphosis here. There's probably more on this concerned chick. I think we need to know. Did I miss something? Why is this here? 
Why is entry five specifically got something that I'm missing? Uh, hostile toward the government. The data chunk is invalid, so I can't do anything with it, right? So it's already taken care of. Is that just a glitch? Hope so. Let's see what else is there. Nothing. Okay, now let's go to that conversation. This is Carrington calling her mom. Okay, so his mom calling her office again, even though she told her not to. They're evacuating the Circle Mall. She she must work right by there. Uh, so it looks like Juliet's gonna die, huh? But she's not gonna leave. There's gonna be a news article that says there's an explosion. She just was taking so long. Uh, this waiting around has me feeling so helpless. If I really think you did fine, I shall. There we go. Explosion. How many explosive devices have been found? Locate police on the scene at the Circle Mall. We did it. We saved all the people. Your diligence was brilliant. Next up, we'll put pull this Nina apart and find out who's really responsible for all this mess. Really great work. Get some rest. You deserve it. So let's read about this. Breaking news of the explosive mall. An explosive device has been found disarmed and disarmed at the Circle Mall in Bonton. After sudden evacuation, thorough search. It's found. We'll continue to report. And then headlines. I mean, granted, that's the new one in the headlines there. So, I still wish I could find out what this entry on this page is all about here. But I just, I just never will be able to. It'll be for nothing. Uh, I have a feeling at this point, what I need to do is finish work for the day and come back tomorrow and do some more so let's see if, if that happens I should look at the objectives wow this is all the stuff that I put in there's a lot of information we did today I don't know how many days there are okay let's go to the next day episode 3 unperson so, all right, guys, we uh, will continue this on in the next episode. Day three. I don't know how long this goes on for, but day three coming soon.